Okay, all the normal missions are 100% complete now. Now we can move on to one of the secret missions, either Riverboat Rapids or Launchpad Labyrinth. I'm gonna cry me a river. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna cry me a river by going to the river level, as opposed to the other level. Um, I think there's a third mission that I need to be aware of. Yeah, okay. We're good with that. That's a lot of missions. I can do it though. All right. So it looks like the monster in the middle of the jungle has picked up a bunch. Oh, I was playing the wrong music, though. I'm sad. Ha. Huh. Oops! I didn't even see you, Shore Fuse. Well, guess what? For your transgressions, you are going to be drowned in the river. <laughs> and a jerky jerk. There we go. I need... I needed a jerky jerk for that, didn't I? Whoop! There's one! Come back here, you stupid bird! your eyes out with a shovel. Fortunately, a turkey jerk by itself is incapable of destroying a big old bag of money. Which is good because money is something I need. There we go. Alright, now we continue. Because water and guy traps! Oh, jeez, no! Yeah, I got this! Shaking it out here, probably not the greatest if I did, because I bet I just tossed a bunch of cash up to the top. Where we get? No, I didn't, actually. Surprisingly, all of it got uh, put properly. And now I want to feed a few enemies to the guy traps. These ones are hungry, so they'll eat up real quick. quick. I need five in total, so we're just gonna take care of it while we have the chance. Hmm, how do you get down there? There's probably a way, but I don't know. Ah, oh, well, I'll figure it out. The Sporkies are enraptured again. I think I should probably do whatever it takes to get the stuff that's good in the water. There we go. I this guy, he doesn't have a feet. Ha! There we go! He hit the turkey jerk, and that makes... I only only four. There we go. Get you eaten, too. Nom nom nom, that makes five! Um... That's a jump across the right? Yeah, I do. It's a raging river. This is unlike the other level, in which the river was kind of only scenery at best. In this one, you have to actively chase. Whoa! They also, they do their eating the new burst for... Oh, hold on, I need this bird. Forgot what I was doing for a sec. Come here, let this bird shake your feathers off. There we go. Another 6,000 browse troubles. Ah! The garlic's bouncing around. Now, you can, in fact, uh, ride... That would require jumping the river. But you can ride them sometimes. There's something you can do. What am I thinking of? Oh, I don't, oh, I need another need bird. Darn it. Crunch. Yeah, I need another bird, so I have to go back and reset them. Here we go. Pick this guy up. Not eat you. Oh, he must be eating something. Jerk, jerk. Whoa, they did that clever actually because uh, that that bird when it assaults you will probably get eaten. So I shake this guy off and he uncorks the pad to that. I can see something. That looks like a fall path. 
It probably isn't, but, um... Whatever. I can work it out. Think about it. What was the required money? 63 holy. That's a large number. Comparatively speaking, that is. What else do I need to do? Okay, everything else I'm drinking thus far. Boom, the arrows! I don't know why I think these guys are challenging, to be honest, they're not. There we go. So, how do we get up there? There must be a vine. And there is! Just not the obvious one. Oh! River? Really? I'm big. What do I do here? That's very clever, that is. Oh! I almost did it! Then I messed up. <laughs> you can see what you're supposed to do here, though. You're supposed to, uh... Jump over... Oh, wow, I actually managed to hit it. Oops. Oh, these guys are situated over land. Very fortunate, that. I thought it wouldn't be. Oh! Oh boy. Yeah! Trigger him. Turn around. There we go. Oops. No! I broke a bag! I didn't mean to! Oh, I guess I probably should have uh, like stopped or something instead. And I bet I need to still be dashing when I, I do. I do! Also, how do I break that without breaking him? I brought some time a jump or something. Ha! This is a nice room, actually. I just realized. Very clever. Now what does this lead to? Nothing. That's okay though. Probably if I let it come up first, and then jump on it. And then jump back, we might be in business. Come on, where are you at? Okay, so let's do this thing. There we go. So I need to get the gold enemy and a diamond out of here. Okay, let's do it. Now, getting this diamond does require me to jump in the river, so... I cannot do the no river touchy on this mission. Which I guess is fine, because um, it's going to be challenging enough trying to uh, get the gold guy out in the middle, I guess. But... You turn around. There we go. Turn around again. And... Oof! Haha, <laughs> that was good. I just barely managed to jump over the guy. Goodbye. But I think that's everything in this room that's uh, important. What room is this? What room is this? Are we in the proper room? Oh no, I need to go over by one couple. Yeah. So I remembered I had to get the map at some point, but we haven't got that far yet. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. We're still like two whole rooms away. Spikes! Whoa! Actually, I didn't see the ceiling once, so I suppose uh, that's fine. Good thing I did notice that there were spikes in general, though. And... Oh, fire guy. I'm gonna leave you put for now, just in case. I wanna figure out where, you put, where I'm supposed to do you. <laughs> or, or whatever that means. Actually, isn't there... Oh, shoot! You spit me out, you stupid flower. Here we go. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting challenge. Let's see if they can eat armor. They can! Oh, they are omnivorous plants. Om nom nom is for sure. That's just a still pool of water. I guess the river doesn't start for a while. Okay. Whoops! Apparently, you can get eaten even if you're on fire. It's not like the thing with the ninjas, where if you're where they can't catch you if you're on fire. This will do. Bounce off! There we go. 
Well, that's all it leads to? I guess that's fine. Whoops. Good bounce. I'm falling in the water now. Ha! Steam clouds! Now that's what happens when you put water out with fire. Or something like that. Whoops. Ah, uh, what am I supposed to be doing here exactly? Oh, I think I know. Okay, we got this. You have to think! Man, no one ever told me I was gonna have to think when I was playing Wario. That's Bolsheviks! So I wanted to do this. Whoops, I bounced off. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, I think what I'm supposed to be doing, I have to jump off of this guy when he's, um, trying to do the fighting things. I get at that treasure chest. Whoop! Spit me out! Killing plant. If I do it like this... Oh, that, no, that's not how you do it at all. Oops! Fell in the water. <laughs> Goodness. Man, I'm glad I only have to do this one once, because once is enough. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Okay. Stopped. I must have to bounce off the ceiling. and all the other things in this river, so it's only fair. 
Now, where's the fire that I would need to uh, actually break that fire block? Oh, it's probably behind hidden deep in here. There we go. That makes sense. So you do have to actually jump up there because I think there's water underneath you can actually fall into. Or something. And then that doesn't lead you where you want to go. That's interesting. Oh wow, this is very interesting actually. Uh... Yeah, you have to be, you have to face in the proper direction or else you will be on the wrong side of the little standing river when you bounce off. And then you can't get this diamond. Ugh, my foot itches. Speaking of diamond... That's where the secret map is and apparently that's enough money too. I wasn't paying attention, but it's good to know that it's there. I've already cleared four missions on this stage. That's great. It's taken me 15 minutes to get this far, and uh, if I take too much longer, my vi my viewers are gonna be bored. I think. Get out of here, you crazy kid! Short fuse. You won't fool me again. I saw you in the grass that time. The thing about short fuse that gets you is that they're tiny. There we go. I can't actually swim this river. Yeah. Oh, treasure chest. There must be more fire, and I can hear the Murphle. Shut up, Murphle. So, oh, there we go. I was about to say, where's the fire? But I found it. Also a G-Bag. Can I drag this down? I'm going to assume... I assume nothing, because... To, yeah, I cannot drag this down, because it's a fallen river that I'm dead. So, unfortunately, a couple of pieces of money are going to fall in the ocean. But beyond that, we're good. Eh. Yeah. Should be fire up here, right? Oh, whoops. That was kind of silly. Uh, good to know that you can go backwards from beyond over the purple cage. I'm gonna do that because I like to know what's over here. Oh, that. Ah, okay, I got this. Of course, that we still need to uh, break this with fire. I just gotta watch the. Uh... Oh wow, I think it actually means me to grab fire from the biggest screen and, uh, like, actually like, bounce around a bunch. So I need to do it like this. So bounce once, bounce again. Aw, uh, the phone is ringing. Be right back, folks. Whoops. Professor Ken saved in for me, so I don't have to worry. Whoop, gotta jump here, though. Okay, so you have to do a proper time to jump. Not really sure about that. Not sure how I feel about that. In order to get your fire across the other side of the screen. So yeah, let's see. Bounce once, bounce twice. And then when I get to the fire block on the other side of the river, if I get there, I can break it. There we go. There. It's not too tricky once you figure it out. Oh, I can break this with fire, and I got a Muscle Man suit for it. I am missing the first treasure chest, so I should probably figure out where that is. Also, 70,000 gold I have. Okay, we made it to the checkpoint, so let's take a well-deserved checkpoint break. You know what? In the interest of time, I am teleporting backwards. And hoping that I don't have to redo this level afterwards. That was fun. So I just went backwards by about four screens or so. This is like, I think, the very first segment. So what you basically want to do here is quickly hop onto a log and climb this. Because I totally missed this treasure chest when I was playing a little normally. A Venus guy trap scene. Who would ever plant that? Raise your hands, people. I don't see any hands, which is good, because then I would probably have to do some murder. Yeah. Now comes the unenviable task of teleporting back to the checkpoint, and then doing it on this one try, because otherwise it would be very sad. God damn you. Stupid chickens. You may be turkey jerks, but you are chickens to me. Okay, made it back. Now let's do this! I'd like not to have to redo this more than once. And actually, if I do it properly, I shouldn't have to anyway. Oh, whoops. That'd be a little bit stupid. Okay, you know what? Whatever. 
we're gonna take this the slow route because I just realized I can do time um, and no water at the same time. It's not an issue. But, you know, as long as you make that jump to the, where the dash rater is, you can get where you're going and there's no problem. Out. I don't have time for your foolery of me. Me foolery, I call it. Okay, we're gonna get to that one part real soon. Yeah, that metal block right there, um, you can totally dash right through that. But if you if you're not running like I am, you have to take it slow and do it like this. I could probably hop in this one. Oh, I was supposed to be jumping. I'm stupid. I, I can still make it out in time, though. Even without dash rate power. They wouldn't. I don't think they make any. Not even that one. That, that cavernous cavern level, whatever the truck it's called. Not even that one. And this over here. This is where the treasure chest that, as it turns out, I didn't need to backtrack for after all. I'm stupid. What can I say? I think the game actually intends for you to, like, yeah, dash and duck underneath. There we go. Uh, so I guess four out of seven is not bad, and I can do the other three all at once, so that's well and good. Now we're coming up on the one hour mark, so, or one hour of recording. It's going to translate to something like 40 minutes. 70,000 gold. Nothing on the 128 that I managed off of that other level, but uh, I will take it. And run! High five secret map. Something fur the furious, oh boy. We're all furious! I'm angry! <laughs> no. Um, the, for the curious, Prison Prison is not only easier than the level that you have to play through in order to unlock it, but uh, it's also based more on uh, Area Tale Castle than Launchpad Labyrinth, which is ostensibly the actual secret level it's based off of. I could show you, but I really don't feel like it. And we're out of time anyway. So, uh, next time we come back to Wario, we're going to finish up... Well, I don't know if we're going to finish, but we're going to try our best at finishing up Area 4. And then we'll move on to Area 5. And I have 1 million gold pieces now! As you can... 1 million, dollars It's awesome. <laughs> Traffic jam outside. Shut up! Nobody cares about... Well, that's a lie. People care. Anyway, I'm out. I got things to do, and, uh... To be quite frank, playing Wario is not one of them.